Hello, everyone. Um, Delivan Yu, working as product engineering manager at Catholic Team. So, I'm here today to talk about some challenges for building interchainable application. Before we get into this, what is interchainable application? It is uh, interchainable, uh, interchain compatible and composable application. That means like um, you can use, uh, you can support uh, at least two chains, more, uh, more than two chains in your application. So, um, uh, actually, Kepler was born to be interchainable application. Uh, it was started to support um, Cosmos Hub and Kava simultaneously at the same time. And now we support more than 50 chains, including EVM and Starknet. So, uh, uh, we come this far, we have a lot of challenges to uh, develop this interchainable application. The first is the managing chain info. Uh, we, have, uh, we should have the RPC and REST endpoint URL, and we have to uh, manage the chain ID it's for Cosmos SDK chain. So for Cosmos chain, the chain ID is the follow the format of real chain ID dash version. For example, Cosmos Hub dash four is for Cosmos Hub, definitely. And crypto dash org dash chain dash mainnet dash one. It's like the, so many dash but it's the, the chain ID. And Bostrom, there's no version, thankfully, yeah. And Avmos have, uh, there is a EVM chain ID in the Cosmos chain ID. So it's a very different, a different format, but you, you just need to know the last dash and version is, um, exists in for Cosmos SDK chain, chain ID. So next is token info. The Cosmos chains have native uh, token denomination. For example, mu osmo for osmosis, st mu atom from stride, boots is uh, from Fostrom. Yeah, there are a lot of denomination, but it's really differ from uh, symbols that users are more familiar with. So you should know. You should know it, and and symbol is can change um, at any time. Um, for example, UST, you know, UST is from Terra can change uh, changed to USTC, right? So the symbol is can change. You know that. So you can, you should know about that to build this kind of things, and. And you should miss out the decimals. Um, in Cosmos, six is the default um, native token decimals, right? But um, unlike the Cosmos chains, um, Bridget assets from non-Cosmos chain might be not six, maybe um, 18 or nine, whatever. So yeah, you should know that the uh, token, you should, um, know that to how to manage this token info well. So yeah, that's the first um, challenge to build your interchain application. So is the, the look like the, the chain info, how uh, I've talked so far. So we are using in Kepler this, um, this object to uh, build our interchainable application. But there's, um, uh, recently, um, 
we count encountered um, new issue is on this challenge. How can I deal with these chains, these different chains in a one way? Cosmos only chains and EVM compatible Cosmos chains and EVM only chains and Ethereum auto chain, but not EVM compatible. The answer is make modular. So I just, um, we put the chain info type, the little bit um, kind of adding the modular architecture to chain info. So you can check out the Cosmos property and EVM pro property at the same time. So we can use this product property to um, uh, get the, the Cosmos balance and simultaneously EVM, getting the EVM balance to use this. So yeah, it's the uh, very uh, recent uh, solution for um, building the modular uh, client side and the client side modularization. And challenge two is getting data from interchain. So there are endpoints to RPC, uh, on Cosmos chain, there are IPC chain endpoint and uh, REST endpoints. But we prefer using the REST endpoint because it's uh, more um, easy to use for developer and easy to debug. So I recommend to use REST endpoint. Um, and, um, but most Cosmos chain API documentation is kind of incomplete. So I always dig into the uh, query that put a file to into the Cosmos SDK. So you can go into the Cosmos SDK GitHub and find out the module what you want and find out the query that put a file. So mm, you can um, read the query path to want, want to um, uh, REST API query path and um, query parameter and response type in this file. The last challenge is sending transaction to interchain. Cosmos transaction can have multiple messages, right? So you can um, sending you know, transaction having um, sending token and staking token and claiming re your rewards at the same time. But you need to know that what message predefined. So you should, you should go to the, also, you, you also go into the um, Cosmos SK GitHub and find out tx.protofile TX and um, yeah, you can see uh, what math is predefined, uh, what you want to send. And, and you should know too about the TX transaction serialization. Um, there are two serialization methods on Cosmos. Amino, that uh, object oriented uh, the yeah, specification, and protobuf, that is a more um, pro, uh, protobuffer of, with the extension of the interface support. So, but is it, uh, on Cosmos SDK, you know, protobuf is more um, toward, the more supporting on the Cosmos SDK, so I recommend to use the protobuf to serialize transaction. Yeah, so in conclusion, is it good to build interchainable application? In my opinion, yeah, is it good for user experience? So it the, uh, make your, make support thing the more chains and make users focusing on what tokens they have and what they can do with the tokens.
And in my opinion, that's why Kepler grows. But I think it's not good enough for developer experience. There are some challenges that there are some challenges you should know. I've talked so far, but many tools and services are being created to help, like uh, for JavaScript de developer, Cosmos is the best tool for building these um, issues I talked so far, the challenges. And Skip also is a good service for um, giving your application into the um, send, sending IBC token and swapping yeah, into your application. Yeah, so I hope you guys is uh, very helpful for building your interchangeable application and Kepler will be more interchangeable to support your application. Thank you.